Hey guys, what's up? I'm gonna go over um, just a couple of my posts on Instagram, just because it's easier to go through this way. Um, now, a liberal says America is where all religions can be believed and all genders and sexuality are accepted. However, 90% of religions do not accept homosexuality or gender neutrality and stuff. So, you have to respect that Muslims don't always agree with your, you know, labelings or Christians might not agree. Even atheists don't always agree with your gender profiling. So, you have to be acceptance, accepting of them. But they and they have to be accepting of you. It works both ways. Okay, I got this cool book. Um, it shows Francis Bacon's birth chart, but it's interesting because this guy William Lilly, who I just got a book on uh, Christian astrology, it says he he believes um, that Bacon was born at like 7:30 a.m., which would make him son in the twelfth house and Pisces Aquarius, and Pisces ascendant, which is just like me actually. So there's another hint. That um, I'm cut. Why I'm interested in in this stuff. Um, air signs like Aquarius are more sociable, though with the sensitive and reticent Pisces rising, would have found that side of life more difficult than many Aquarians, just like me. It's very interesting. Um, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Um, let's see. Nietzsche and say nihilism is the only truth that makes sense in this meaningless world. However, Nietzsche says a nihilist is a man who judges the real world ought not to be and that the world as it ought to be doesn't exist, a contradiction. So Nietzsche was not a nihilist. Just because he explains nihilism the best, best doesn't mean he resorts to being one. Because thus spake Zarathustra is all about life affir affirmation after you've created all your new values. Nietzscheans again, logic is more powerful than emotion and is the ubermensch ideal. But Nietzsche himself said, our bodies have more wisdom than even our deepest thoughts. Okay, so he, he makes fun of scholars a lot. Okay, um, let's see. This is a major win for New York. They can finally conceal carry. So now women don't have to be scared by walk, walking home in the middle of the night. They can carry a gun because all the crooks who don't follow the laws carried them anyway. Um, here's just some more posts that we know of, just reminding you. Nikolai claims Francis Bacon is the founder of Freemasonry, as well as other scholars like Mr. Wigston. Founder of Freemasonry was Francis Bacon. Okay, And the New Atlantis, his last book, um, it's, it's the key to modern rituals in Freemasonry. Okay, And the Shakespeare folio that Bacon wrote, or edited primarily, is the arch to the pillars of Freemasonry. Freemasonry. Okay, it was he who created the rituals. They did not evolve. Okay, and see, even even uh, Masons of the thirty third degree know Bacon secrets. Um, so I mean, they know this stuff. Of course, he has ciphers and all that fun stuff. And uh, he was in in a in younger days at Gray's Inn where they did Shakespeare plays on record. Francis Bacon was part of the Order of the Helmet. Uh, and the uh, Palace Athene was the muse, the shaker of the spear. That's where he gets the name Shakespeare. Yeah, big coincidence there. And this is William Shakespeare's actual signatures. Yeah, this guy wrote all of the those plays. He wrote, where's, where's the manuscripts? There's no manuscripts. The only manuscripts we have of Shakespeare are these crappy signatures and his will, of which no plays are mentioned. And lastly, uh, we're going to go into this. I showed you earlier how this, this headpiece on the Shakespeare First Folio is the exact same as the King James Bible headpiece that Francis Bacon also edited. But I just found out for confirmation that Francis Bacon's um, Novum Organum also has this same headpiece right here. So yeah, Bacon's into that. He edited that. And of course he wrote that. You know, it's like on to the next one. Okay. And of course we see Ben Johnson says the exact same thing about two different men um, in their eulogies of insolent Greece or haughty Rome. He mentions that to Shakespeare and in the tribute to Francis Bacon. That's not a coincidence. Ben Johnson is not dumb. He's, he's just ahead of us all. Okay. Here, here, here's the thing. Just to confirm, Muslims hate gays, liberals hate Christians, but most blacks are Christian and atheists hate Islam and Christianity. And you're all on the same side politically, quote unquote. It's, it doesn't make sense. 
You can't tolerate intolerance. Okay, and, and a lot of parts of the Quran are intolerant. So how's that the religion of peace? You know, all that stuff. I was looking into some AI stuff lately. And these AIs are like creating images. Yeah, that was created by an artificial robot. Okay, like it's so crazy. Um, this is interesting. In the Dead Sea Scrolls, we know all Christians and Jews hate those because of all the stuff it confirms that goes against their traditions. It shows astrology, specifically 4Q318. Okay, um, it shows astrology. It shows these uh, signs of the moon going through these signs. Okay. All right, there's even part of a horoscope that's red. Okay, the the Jews have zodiac, you know, uh, images in their synagogues that they're unearthing. The original Judaism declared, you know, knew all this stuff. Seek him that makes the seven stars, God. Lift up your eyes on high, you know. By his spirit, he garnished the heavens, you know. The church says God doesn't care about the stars and that's pagan, but the Bible says that God tells the number of the stars and he calls them all by their names. Oh, but we can't we can't read them. That's that's no good. I mean, even before Judaism, the Egyptians had this Dendera zodiac. This is this goes down to antiquity. Okay? Liberal. Words hurt in negative languages should, negative language should be banned. All rappers. Liberal. Okay, well, why don't they get shat on like, you know, everyone else? Um, yeah, here, here's the main thing that Bacon and I strive to find, especially with Gematria. Book of Proverbs 25, verse 2, It is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search out a matter. Okay, that's what we're doing. We're finding these Bible codes. We're finding all this stuff. Yeah, and this is how I felt when the Pentagon finally has an official hearing on UFOs. Still no one cares. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about everything. Um... Yeah, once again, you know, Illuminati doesn't exist, and yet they ban hashtag Illuminati. Okay, well, thanks for, you know, being so transparent with us guys. Yeah, that's basically all the stuff I kind of wanted to show y'all today. Um, here's a new obvious Gematria one. Isaiah 1919 talks about the Great Pyramid of Egypt. What does the Hebrew letters add up to? The height of the Great Pyramid in Egypt in pyramid inches, 5449. The verse about the pyramid adds up to the pyramid. That's God, okay? That's that's not that's not wishy-washy stuff. This is hard math. Okay? And of course the two Isaiah prophecies about Jesus add up to Jesus 888. Okay? Isaiah 1, 11 and 1 and Isaiah 9 and 6. No biggie. It's all good. Okay. I think I already went through this other stuff. But yeah. You know, I go on here when I don't have a bunch of stuff to say, you know, specifically about YouTube. Um, you know, Santa's elves must have really worked up their skills for the 21st century. You know, they're not just making uh, swing sets and dolls. They're making iPads. And Santa's elves are making Xboxes. Or at least they have, like, a deal with Amazon to get those presents out. Um, also, I want to remind you all of this awesome book, Shakespeare Creator of Freemasonry by Alfred Dodd. Of course, he knows his Francis Bacon, but he goes into that later. And in fact, right here, um, sorry, the emergence of the Masons in 1623 was a planned emergence, the centenary of the 1623 Shakespeare folio, which has all the Mason secrets, okay? Yeah. Solomon, Masons, a company, brother of a gracious order, both are at the lodge, a worshipful society, all the stuff we've gone into before. I just want to remind you it's a thing. And yes, the letters at the beginning mean stuff too. GG, Grand Geometrian, M for Mason, etc., etc. It's good stuff, and it's free. So, once again, no excuse for the Stratfordians. And again, this, this book is free and awesome. It's super awesome. Um, look at all these different kinds of essays by different people. Horoscope of Francis Bacon, um, the reincarnation and Francis Bacon, you know, this, this book goes there. It's really, really cool. Um, I highly suggest it. And yes, it mentions how he's an Aquarius, bringing forth the age of Aquarius like I'm helping doing, you know. Um, yeah. Aren't we all? Yeah, good book. Yeah, and it mentions King James. <laughs> okay, Francis Bacon was literally the second guy in charge after King James. So the King James Bible was edited by the founder of Freemasonry, Francis Bacon, for a whole year 
1610, then it was released in 1611. Okay? It's just, it's, you know, so he hides his own codes in the KJV that God, you know, he, he's playing off of God's Hebrew and uh, English gematria by hiding his own codes in the KJV because he's a cipher master. Anyway, just that, that's, that's it for today, y'all. Take it easy.